Okay guys, section 3, we've got another matching type of question here, 25 to 30. Uh, questions 25 to 30, what problem, again the same type, what problem is identified with each of the following natural dyes? So questions are natural dyes and problems are given in the box. So will you read the questions or the problems? Exactly. And will they use the problems in the same language or will they use synonyms? Exactly. A. It is expensive. It cost me an arm and length. It cost me a fortune. It costs a fortune. Right? Uh, B. Color is too strong. Strong color or they may use any other word for that. Right? C. Color is not long lasting. For not long lasting they use the word not permanent or does not last a long time, right, or vanishes quickly, or lasts for a short time. D, it is very poisonous. For poisonous, they may use the word dangerous, extremely dangerous, right, extremely dangerous or dangerous. E, it can damage the fiber. For damage the fiber, they might use destroy, or any other word, uh, like it can damage the fiber, they can say it can affect the fiber. Damage the fiber or affect means impact the fiber. F, color may be, and you can notice one thing, I'm not reading it, they, the, and all that. Just focus the main thing. F, color may be unexpected, unexpected color. Now for unexpected color, they might say the color was disappointing, it was not what we were expecting. It was not according to our expectation. It was not what we hoped. These are the synonyms. G. It is unsuitable for some fibers. Unsuitable some fabrics. Sorry. Unsuitable and fabrics. Like they say, unsuitable for cotton. Cotton is a fabric like that. H. Not generally available. For not generally available, they might use the word rare. It is not easily available, not accessible, very rare, not found easily, something like that. Now, number 25, turmeric. We use it in the kitchen as well. So let's see what do they say about turmeric. Guys, did you look at? Well, one was turmeric. The color's great. It's a really strong yellow. It's generally used in dishes like curry. It's meant to be quite good for your health when eaten. But you might find it's not permanent when it's used as a dye. A few washes and it's gone. Right. A few washes and it's gone. It's not permanent. C. The color is not long lasting. Not long lasting means not permanent. Few washes and it's gone. Go and see it in the house. It's not dry. Okay? Alright. Question number 26. Beetroot. That red, red color thing, beetroot, chukandar or something like that we call it. Okay, let's see. I use beetroot as a dye for wool. When I chop up beetroot to eat, I always end up with bright red hands. But the wool ended up just a sort of watery cream shade. Disappointing. Watery cream shade, disappointing. That is F. F is the color may be unexpected. On the hand, bright red color. On the clothes, watery cream shade. So it is uh, unexpected. That is why answer is F. Okay, 27. There's a natural dye called Tyrian purple. Have you heard of that? Yes. It comes from a shellfish. And it was worn in ancient times. But only by important people, as it was so rare. I didn't use it. It fell out of use centuries ago. Though one researcher managed to get hold of some recently. But that shade of purple can be produced by chemical dyes nowadays. So, H. It is not generally available. It is rare. They use the word rare. So, I didn't use it. It's quite rare. I didn't use it. So, Tyrian purple is H. Next is logwood. 28. Did you use any black dyes? Logwood. That was quite complicated. I had to prepare the fabric so the dye would take. I hope you were careful to wear gloves. Yes, I know the danger with that dye. Good, it can be extremely dangerous if it's ingested. It can be extremely dangerous and all that. Exactly, D. Very good. 
Question number 29, cochineal, something like that. Now, presumably you had a look at an insect-based dye, like cochineal, for example. Yes, I didn't actually make that. I didn't have time to start crushing up insects to get the red colour. And anyway, they're not available here. But I managed to get the dye quite easily from a website. But it cost a fortune. I can see why it's generally just used in cooking and in small quantities. Yes, it's very effective, but that's precisely why it's not used as a dye. A. It cost a fortune. By the way, how do you like the idea of crushing the insects for making dye? Uh, I say 200 cockroaches and we make brown dye. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not a good idea, yeah? Exactly. But in the past, people used these things. Okay. Uh, so the right answer is A, it is expensive. He said, I found a website and it cost a fortune. Uh, 30, metal oxide. Let's see what do they say about that. I also read about using metal oxide. Apparently you can allow iron to rust while it's in contact with the fabric and that colors it. Yes, that works well for dyeing cotton. But you have to be careful as the metal can actually affect the fabric and so you can't expect to get a lot of wear out of fabrics treated in this way. And the colours are quite subtle. Not everyone likes them. Metal can affect the fabric. So that is? G is suitable, unsuitable for some fabrics. No. E is can damage the fabric. Please listen again. Now listen why E is the answer and why G is not the answer. I also read about using metal oxide. Apparently you can allow iron to rust while it's in contact with the fabric. And that colors it. Yes, that works well for dyeing cotton. But you have to be careful as the metal can actually affect the fabric. And so you can't expect to get a lot of wear out of fabrics treated in this way. And the colors are quite subtle. Not everyone likes them. Okay, so they did not use any word like some fabrics, right? E will be the right answer.